everybody, welcome to sports class with Mr. Finn. Uh, last class we had notes. This class, uh, I want you to, again, look something up for me. Um, that is going to be somebody. It's an interesting person. His name is Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is the Miss Michigan coach. I'm actually from Michigan, so I do know a little bit about Jim Harbaugh and his coaching at the University of Michigan. Um, let me put that up there. Um, University of Michigan. Uh, so here's the interesting thing. We're talking about coaches today, right? So Jim Harbaugh, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown just so I can give you some background information. Jim Harbaugh actually went to Michigan. He became a college football coach. He did a great job at colleges uh, that were smaller. He eventually went to Stanford, which is in California, and did really well there. He was a coach in the NFL for the uh, 49ers, San Francisco 49ers. Um, and then comes to the University of Michigan, where he has had an up and down uh, run, if you will. You know, some good years, some bad years. However, they haven't won the amount of games that they thought they would. Now, here's the question for you uh, for today about Jim Harbaugh. And it really is just a, we're using him as an example, because here's the thing about coaches in all sports. It's based on results, right? So results really make or break someone's career in coaching in sports. And just because you're a nice person or a good person, if you're not winning, it can be, I mean, you're, you're not going to have your job, unfortunately. It's not a very, not, it's not pleasant to say. It's just that's the way that life and that career is. So Jim Harbaugh, University of Michigan, it's based on results. So he has had an up and down season. This year he has had some major losses. And the question now is, um, really, should he stay? Question mark. You'll find a lot of articles about this. There's going to be a lot of people who have written a lot of things saying, yeah, he should stay. He's done this. No, he should go. They should go move on to a new coach. There is uh, a lot of things out there about it. That's why I'm picking him as the example, because he just happens to be the coach at this time who's dealing with this but trust me after Jim Harbaugh it will be someone else someone else won't be doing a great job and they will you'll have some people saying oh they should keep him or no they should get rid of him and it goes back and forth so it's not just about him it's about coaching in general is really what we're looking at so the question for you is should he stay or should he go or should he, I mean that's what I want to hear um, so it's kind of opinion however you're probably gonna find things that uh, will tell you what opinion that person who wrote it said, which is okay, that's fine too. Um, so give me a, a half page on, really let's put it this way, on what you find. Half page on what you find. So it could be your, you read some stuff and you think, I, should, I think he should stay, or I think he should go, and it could be your own opinion, or it could be the opinion of what you find. I mean, say you read an article and it's like, well this person said this, so I think this. You know, that should be the topic. But again, it's really about coaching, the idea of the world of coaching. If you want to become a coach, it is very results oriented. You better win. And if you win, you're good. If you lose, it's people are going to start to say, hey, we need to get a new coach in here. It's just the way it goes. So Jim Harbaugh, University of Michigan, results. Well, it's not results, but should he stay? Should he go? Find some articles again on Jim Harbaugh, half page, and I will see you next class.